Bumblebees are being impacted by many stresses caused by humans, by things like climate change. And this could be impacting their really fundamental interactions between, with um, flowering plants, potentially threatening many things that we love and rely on, so like wildflower meadows or some crops. But the challenge that we face in trying to understand how um, interactions between bees and plants might be affected by things like the changing climate is that we still have so much to learn about those interactions themselves. Like why does a specific bee interact with a specific plant? And if we don't know this, then it's really hard to understand how interactions between bees and plants might be affected by climate change. So my name is Aoife and I am a PhD student and my research looks at really zooming in into interactions that are going on between bees and plants to try to um, identify sort of specific features of those interactions and of the interacting individuals and see what makes for a sort of successful interaction. Um, I do this on a really amazing mountain in Arctic Sweden. Not only is the mountain just incredibly beautiful, but it's also really experiencing change at the moment. It's warming so fast that we're already seeing the sort of trees on the mountain shifting upwards as it gets warmer. So by studying bumblebees on this mountain, I can almost see the impact of climate change happening in action. And so through my PhD research, by studying this bumblebee community in Arctic Sweden in such high resolution, I hope to try to figure out what traits make for successful or vulnerable interactions with, between bumblebees and plants, and then use this as an early warning system for other bumblebee communities around the world so that we start to get a better idea of what interactions between bees and plants might be most vulnerable to change.